Hey there, viewers. Welcome to set I don't really give a shit. Um, right here I'm just showing off the materia setup that I have for uh, getting this stupid fucking enemy skill. Show but, off. more importantly, as you just heard in the background, <laughs> I have uh, I have another special guest commentator. This time, it's Hildegang. And this time, I'm an asshole. Damn it, don't remind me of Dennis Lear. <laughs> Anyways, for those who don't know who Hildegang is, I highly doubt that not a lot of people don't know who Hildegang is. In anyways, um... Not a lot of insane. Anyways, back when, back on my old accounts, I did my first step, uh, I did my, or I did the first Let's Play on the, essentially, Tenchu 3 through C, and, uh, like, I think it was, like, less than a month later, Hilda Gang did his, and he got, like, 30 billion more views than mine, because I'm just a crappy little Let's Player. <laughs> Here I thought I had next to no views at all. I mean, I my highest fucking view count was over a thousand. Whoop de fucking do. <laughs> my most views for a Let's Play is on Nightmare Creatures. It's like, Tenchu for me was like, eh, it's a moderate amount of views. And of course, now, since I gotta start all over again because I accidentally deleted my account. <clears throat> fucking bitch. Either way, since I gotta start all over again, I'm not a first, I'm not a first page for anything. Woo! Oh, but you know. Well, technically I'm not first page for one thing, and that's only if you type in my fucking username. I'm gonna try that. I would laugh at it somewhere else. And literally, if you type in YouTube, or if you type in Rage Armor on the YouTube search, I'm not even at the top of the page. No, I'm all the way down at the fucking bottom. Yeah, that's right. But I type my own name, and I'm right there, but... I'm probably only one or two videos on the ring page. I wouldn't expect to see all of my videos there. Yeah, it's kind of retarded how YouTube works. Oh, by the way, I'm 100% sure some of you viewers are going, what the fuck is your strategy with this thing? Essentially, just get bio on it as soon as fucking possible. Then you'll be set. Just make sure the fucking snake chases away the right person. You don't want to chase away whoever you got fucking enemy skill on. And in order for that, just once he raises up like that, have someone cast a spell or attack it, and he'll chase that one person away. Easy enough. So basically, when I'm doing this Let's Play stealing with viewers, it'll be alright, okay? Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> nah, don't worry. If I'm gonna do a Final Fantasy, I'll probably do 10. I don't know why people don't like that game all that much. I mean, it, it's got pretty damn solid music. Sure, the storyline's a little crap, but... Yeah. Ten really, two was the crap. It, it's not all that bad of a game. Well, for me, 10 was the only one I stuck through to the end since 7. Yeah, the, my, my personal favorite is fucking Final Fantasy IX. I mean, best soundtrack of the entire Final Fantasy series as far as I'm concerned. It's got a storyline that I actually bother reading. The and, only... hmm? more importantly, it doesn't take me less than a fucking day to beat it. It's a long game. Now, if, if y'all are wondering how the fuck you get over here, um, and more importantly, how you get the car over here, because you do need it to get a key item, um, just go to Coast to Soul with your car and you can sail back. Easy enough. Anyways, to get, there are actually two items you want to get from this guy in here to get both of them. You need to kill an equal amount of enemies with the same number. So, say you want to kill 22 or 44 or 88 enemies. Then go talk to them. You'll get an item. Leave. Do the exact same thing. Go talk to them again, and you will get the other item you want. Easy enough. You say easy enough, but that sounds like a pain in the ass. Yeah, it really is. And if you overshoot it, you gotta talk to him, he'll go essentially say fuck off, and that'll reset reset your counter. Anyways, I actually got lucky and he gave me the item I wanted right off. The mithril is needed to get that fucking bitch. Ugh, fucking hate arrows. 
that fucking bitch of a uh, character, Eris, her final limit break, which I will not be bothering to get because why fucking get it if she's only staying in my party for the first disc? Not even halfway through the first disc. She just goes, fuck you, I'm out of here. I guess Anyways, she's really quick and easy. Yeah. Anyways, for the boss that's coming up, yes. I spoiled it. Oh fucking well. For the boss that's coming up, you're gonna want to have either Chocomog or Eris's level 2 limit break. I recommend having both of them just to be on the safe side. Seal Evil will be explained momentarily when I actually get into that fucking boss fight. Delicious, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Advertisement, here we are. Yep. We are going for random boss fights. Woo! This is, of course, one of the very few optional boss fights. To get this boss to appear, you're going to want to still open the safe. And the combination is right 36, left 10. I overshot. I hope I'm Nine, well. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> right 36, left 10, right 59, right 97. And if you overshoot, you're pretty much fucked. You might as well just enter the four codes, or just rapidly hit the X button to get it to reset, because you're... I, I've tried... If you overshoot it, there's no way in hell you'll be able to roll over the counter in time to get to the next thing. It's a pain-in-the-ass system for cracking a safe. Yeah, it really is. It's even more of a pain in the ass if you don't know the code, because then you gotta run around all over the fucking place to find only three of the codes. You gotta guess the last one. Anyways, when you crack the safe, you saw Materia just fly out, and we get into a fight with the lost number. That this guy just has... looks effed up, to be honest. Well, there's a reason for this. When you get his health to about halfway down, depending on what damage you dealt to him, uh, what damage you dealt to him, when his health is the halfway point, will determine what uh, final form he takes. I, of course, went for the magic because magic is actually a little bit easier to take down than his physical form. His physical form can fucking take out Cloud in one shot. He's got over a thousand health. Yeah, but uh, there's actually a hilarious glitch that I figured out for this boss. If you stun him, whether through Chocobog or using Eris' Steel Evil, and deal the halfway point damage in one type, like you say, you deal it in magic type, then start attacking him just strictly, uh, the strictly melee damage. It will end up glitching him to where he has the magic form, but is dealing physical damage. Really fucking funny. <laughs> so wait, does that make him stronger or weaker? Um, depending on which form you have him take, both forms will make him stronger. One will be stronger with magic attacks, and the other will be stronger with physical attacks. Um, either way, it's uh, either way, it's kind of kind of a pain in the ass with the levels that I'm currently at. Normally I level grind for this boss, or wait until like disc 3 when I just take him out with one shot. But, uh, either way, let's go on and show you what Seal Evil does. For most bosses, it will basically immobilize the enemy, cast off whatever you want to call it. He won't be able to attack. That's the main point to get him. It's, it's just weird for me to be seeing someone that knows what they're doing in the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, considering this is a anywhere between three to four disc game, four disc if you have the special edition, unfortunately, I do not. Either way, a uh, three to four disc game is kind of hard to memorize on And I've done it! <laughs> now you can go and collect the rewards. Yeah, magic points. You know what? Fuck it. For the rest of this let's play, I'm gonna call them dick points. Only because you collect dick points. Exactly. Hey, I'm a troll. I obviously have to collect dick points. I only ever collect shit points. Don't ask me what those are called. 
Yeah, no, you seem to do pretty damn good on your lunch break. Oh, it depends. Which game? Well, your Tenshu game seems to turn out well enough. Yeah, <laughs> falling down pitfalls over two seconds. Hey, falling down pitfalls is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was intentional, you know. It was only meant to just show up how a human I am. I mean, how? In my, uh, my freaking Grandmaster run, I, for Riki Maru on Tenshu Stealth Assassins, Never mind the 30 billion tapes that it took me to get a Grandmaster, but Falling Down Pitfall is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would say Tenshu is one of the ones that I've done sort of badly on. There is a game where I can forgive being bad at it, only for the fact that it's hilarious every time you are. It's a let's play I'm doing at the moment, but I've not started uploading it yet, and that would be just cause too. Because every time you screw up, you're guaranteed to roll down a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh every time. I mean, hell, you, I, I know you've done the uh, let's play on Stealth Assassin, so you, you know yeah. that one level where you gotta jump from a bridge into a hole in the side of the wall to complete the freaking mission? Oh, that was in the... in the caves? I was think there? it was like... It, it was, it's Mission 3. We gotta fight you, I think. Yeah, you know what lake people are tired. That one. But I, I've fallen down that pit so many fucking times. Because <laughs> Ricky Maru decided, oh hey! Fuck you, I'm not gripping you, Ledge. <laughs> yeah, but for me it was more like jump, and there was an enemy standing right there. Because I nailed the jump perfectly. I don't need to grab the ledge. Because if you jump a specific way, you can just run. But then there's an enemy there, and you automatically get nudged off the ledge. <laughs> I know it's not like, that layout, but then again, hey, I'm not complaining, it made my job easier. Yeah, well, sometimes I end up um, screwing up with layouts and not realizing what I've done. And then going, oh yeah, there's an enemy there. <sighs> and apparently he decided to poison me. Fuck you, lost number. Liver <laughs> Only I get to poison you, feet. Exactly! Only you and Cloud. Because Cloud can have fun. Well, you know, I can't resist. Well, considering I am going through the trouble of getting the date sequence with you at yeah, the Gold Saucer, kind of makes him a pedophile, considering I think Yuffie is like 15 or 16 in this game. Well, considering in Japan she would be considered capable of having a relationship and married by the age it's of like legal. 15 or 12. <laughs> so, yeah, you'd be completely legal for Cloud, but for us, she's a kid. Yeah. Of course, then again, in the state that I am currently in, it's legal anyways, because 16-year-old is, I think, the legal age of consent. It's not national or nationwide, but hey, state, yeah. everybody already fucking knows that 11-year-olds in the United States are fucking <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I think here, there was a girl I knew in high school, and she said she'd already had sex by the age of like 10 with her boyfriend who was 13. And I was like, okay, well that's completely new to me, because I was, you know, her age, and I was like, well, I didn't realize people were already doing that. But here, yeah, it's 16 here throughout the entire country. So when, say, someone in America says that it's, say, 18 or 21 or whatever, whatever it is in their state, I don't know. Man. American is fucked. America is fucked up. You got legal age for consent anywhere between 16 to 20. The legal age for smoking is 18, and the legal age for drinking is 21. What the fuck? <laughs> this have everything the same age. <laughs> you're not allowed to get married, but you're allowed to smoke. You're not allowed to to get married, but you're. It's like you're allowed to get married, but not allowed to drink. You know. And considering, that... as, as far as I know, most people have champagne at their weddings. Yeah, it it's, tends to happen in most countries, I think. Champagne is a celebratory drink, and I think they just sort of overlook the laws then, or something. <laughs> overlooked my ass. I've seen many weddings getting busted because the groom's only like 18 or something. 
And he's drinking champagne. That's contributing to a minor! <laughs> oh yeah, I, I forgot, I forgot it's America. <laughs> yeah, America's <laughs> fucked up. Now you see over here it would be, oh he's having a good drink, but it's a special occasion. It's like, oh look, that 14 year old's a drinking sherry at Christmas. Oh well, no biggie. If he's not, if it's not Christmas and not his birthday or something, ooh, then you're in trouble. Oh, I should probably mention this sooner or later, viewers, but the Cosmo Memory item we got from that lost number boss fight is Nanaki's final limit break. Should probably mention it. I, 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 I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> and that bitch just told me to get the fuck out of my own house. Well, fuck you too. I don't want to live here. It's a hobble. It doesn't look so bad from the outside. It's when you get inside you realize how shit it is. When you get inside you realize that the living room is the bedroom and the kitchen as well. Yeah, and when you realize that the bathroom is probably in the same room. I don't know, I kind of want to say the bathroom's non-existent. Because <laughs> these people don't, you know, need to take a number two or anything. Exactly. Well, you never see these people in the bathroom, do you? That platinum vest is a weapon for... I was about to say Vincent, but no. That's a weapon for Tifa. Let's get things right. <laughs> yeah, if you talk yeah, to these wooden bitches people. all over the place, you can get random items. Should I try that in reality? Hmm. You may get some really good items, like... Hmm. Chocolate bar. That's what you kids are calling it these days. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to know what you're comparing it to. Well, I was thinking of either dicks or cocaine. Hmm. Why cocaine? Unless you mean white chocolate. I don't know, I've seen people royally fuck up making cocaine, and it's absolutely hilarious. Like, you, you see cocaine is always white or something like that, like power, and they yeah. fuck up making it like it gets burnt or something, and it looks like a pile of shit. Literally. <laughs> what are you sniffing? Some guy's ass crack. Anyways, let's actually go through the trouble of getting the, uh, the last of the two optional characters. Alright, you emo bastard, let's get this one. After I get into another damn fight. <laughs> no, fuck you, Jack Skeleton. I, I don't care for you. Wait. He had a skull for a head, not a pumpkin. Yeah. Because uh, he was a skelly. A skeleton. <laughs> I was gonna say he is a skeleton. That's just his Ooh, name. More battles. Fuck you, Zubats! No! I hate you! Fuck off, Zubats! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most pussy team I've ever seen. Parabats, run! Fuck it, hate Zubats. Anyways, with the basement key, we can enter this room. If you don't have the basement key, that room kinda says fuck you. And then we wake this emo fuck up from his nightmares. I don't know, I'm not gonna have him in my party for too terribly long. I'm having him in my party for now only because his stats are the highest out of all the other people, but once I get to the next town, I, fuck him, he's out of here. One makes you wonder why he's having nightmares if this is where he's sleeping. Well, they've got backstory on him, like if you play Dirge of Cerberus, they got a whole backstory and all that bullshit, but... Yeah, you I watched know a bunch Sephiroth. of videos. Oh my! Everyone Time knows to do an Sephiroth. amazing backflip. For no apparent reason. Well, you know, that's how everyone gets out of bed these days. Absolutely. What's I mean, I know I do. I broke my leg. Taken many lives, really. I only thought it was 130 billion. Oh, that. Sorry, I cannot speak. It seemed like that what you were doing. And the emo fuck just lays back. No, no, I'm not gonna fucking leave. <laughs> fuck you, asshole. 
Wake the, the fuck, fuck up! up. No, I'm going back to sleep. It's still Who here. are you? What do you know about Metal Gear? <laughs> Where's my cardboard box? <laughs> I think Vincent's sleeping in Snake's box. <laughs> yeah, he's seeing Coffin just sneaking around in the guards are like, huh? That box just, just moved. Derp. Yeah, Metal Gear is a game I've not gotten around to let's play just yet. Oh man, Metal Gear is so fucking funny to play. <laughs> <laughs> Whose footprints are these? Hmm? And then I'm oh, like, what, the guards what's... are supposed to be super intelligent. What's even funnier is when you, like, you start a new game plus and you already have the box. So you go into the box and make the footprints and they're like, whose footprints are these? Hmm? Walks up to the box. No, oh, it's here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's see footprints lead to a box. Oh, someone must have climbed over that box. <laughs> it was Cobalt. Ah, random quotes. No one gets. Woo! Anyways, yeah. this fucker wants to join our party. Even though he told you to get out. I might as well. Yeah, he, he is the current... Uh, he is the highest... He has the highest stats out of everyone currently, and that's the only reason why I'm putting him in my party. Literally. Just because you need the extra help for now. Well, considering the boss that is coming up at my current level is actually a huge bitch. Hmm, fucking hate that boss. Usually I'm all, usually by this point in the game I'm like level 30 and overpower that fucker. And the only reason why he's such a huge bitch is because he cures himself. Little note, game programmers, curing bosses is not a good idea. You know game programmers never gave a shit though. <laughs> Actually, I kind of think they do, considering I made a quote in one of my videos, and like, immediately afterwards, a game came out that actually implemented the idea that I was kind of going on a rant about. It depends on the group, really, doesn't it? That, by the way, viewers, was Yin Yang. Really not worth it to fight him. It's like the Tonberry later on in the game. It gives little to no um, AP, and it's it, it's just not worth it. Fuck him. Sephiroth! Bring back some memories, huh? Fuck your memories! Yeah, what is this reunion? Oh! No. Fuck Genova too. Fuck her. Fuck her right up the ass. With a... Obsidian pipe. Yeah. Hey! How dare you throw like a green throw a... ball at me? Oh, <laughs> shiny dog green boy? ball at me. Yes, for some reason he gives us the destruction material. Don't know why, not complaining. At its highest level, destruction material gives the death spell. Little overpowered. But not really considering about like halfway through this game, enemies start becoming immune to death. That sounds funny on its own, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, the programmers of Final Fantasy actually figured out that having enemies with immunity to death is a lot much, or is a much better idea than... Uh, quite literally, Final Fantasy 2 has five bosses that aren't immune to instant death spells. So a boss that you can essentially skip. Yeah! Pretty much. That's a very clever design there. It's uh... Kind of makes me think of Mass Effect, where bosses, you can actually levitate them using biotic lift. <laughs> and then you can just shoot the crap out of them while they float in the air. Oh, I, I have no quorums with cheating bosses. Fuck them all. I mean, hell. In my Devil May Cry 1 on hard mode Let's Play I did way back when, I cheated almost all of the bosses. I didn't even know how to cheat the bosses. Oh, there is act one of the bosses is actually 100% skippable. You do not have to fight them, all you gotta do is just open the door and say, fuck you. Which one was that? Devil May Cry? It, it's the first time you meet the Griffin. 
like right yes. outside the castle. You can just grab the Ifrit, light the door, and get the fuck out of there. I didn't even know that. Yeah, and on hard mode, I actually recommend it because considering the first fight you have with them is actually a major bitch. I wonder if they did that on purpose then. It's quite possible, but this this episode's almost completely done, so I'm just gonna go on and sign off now. Cheers, viewers.